The upper limb and lower limb is divided into compartments by the fascia. And these are called osteofacial compartments. These special players cannot be stretched, so they are non-compliant. When there is decreased intercompartment space or increased intercompartment fluid volume, it leads to acute compartment syndrome. Even though the compartment syndrome is a clinical diagnosis, the intercompartmental pressure more than 30 mercury mm can be used as a threshold in diagnosis. Most of the time, the compartmental syndrome is caused by low bone fracture. Other causes include burns, vascular injuries, crush injuries, drug overdoses, repercussion injuries, and thrombosis. There is equilibrium between venous outflow and arterial inflow in compartments. Vein wall is easily compressible than arterial wall. So there is increase in compartmental pressure, there is a reduction in venous outflow. This causes venous pressure and venous capillary pressure to rise. If the compartment pressure is higher than arterial pressure, a decrease in arterial inflow will also occur. This results in decreased oxygenation of tissue causing ischemia. Patient with compartment syndrome has pain which is disproportionate to the injury. In the early stages, pain may only be present with passive stretching. However, this symptom may be absent in advanced acute compartment syndrome. Classically, the presentation of acute compartment syndrome remarked by the five P's pain, pulse restless, paresthesia, paralysis, and halo. In the physical examination, you should focus on the neurovascular territory of inward compartment. Observe for the skin changes, palpate for the compartment, observe temperature, tension, and tenderness, check pulses, evaluate two point discrimination and sensation, evaluate mode functions. In the treatment, less time should be spent on confirmation of the diagnosis, as delayed treatment may result in loss of limb. Patient needs immediate surgical consult, provide supplemental oxygen, remove any restrictive cards, dressing, or bandage to relieve pressure. If intercompartmental pressure is greater than 30, patient needs pseudotomy. Patients with compartment syndrome can be completed with pain, contractions, rhabdomyolysis, and nerve damage. This is the end of this video. We will meet you in our next video. Until then, happy learning.